mission of Finca in Mexico and in more than 20 countries around the globe is to provide financial services, especially small loans, to the world's poorest of the poor so they can start or grow their own businesses and work their way out of poverty. The mission is based on the philosophy that the working poor don't need our charity, all they need is a chance. Finca's village banking program offers that chance. A loan of just $50 is enough to buy corn in bulk for making tortillas, a used sewing machine to make clothes faster than by hand, clay for the family pottery business, equipment for making sweet, colorful wafers, wood to heat the oven that bakes the traditional clay comales on which tortillas are cooked. Seeds for corn so the husks can be harvested, dried, and sold for making tamales. And that's just the beginning. As Finca clients repay these loans and get second and third and fourth loans, they slowly grow their businesses along with their ability to support themselves and their children. Some even save enough to open their own shop or restaurant which brings in more income and provides more jobs. In this way, these loans lift up not only individuals and their families, but entire communities. Finca has given me everything, everything. I had nothing. I am telling you, I had nothing. And I was without a home and without land. Now I have two houses. Their father, when he left us, I had seven children, seven. And all of them went through school. But yes, it was based on sacrifice. I used to sell tostadas at the schools. I had a store. I had a meal. I had to do the laundry, I had to iron, I had to feed them. If it weren't for the loans, I believe we would suffer all of our lives from hunger and poverty. We are not able to obtain any loan. Nobody would lend us money or give us just a loan like that. They would say, yes, we're going to give you a loan, but you have to leave a mortgage. And if one doesn't have anything, how are you going to get started? In other words, you have to leave something that is worth almost twice as much as the loan you're requesting. Finca. Finca only needs your voter's registration card, your light bill or telephone bill, and it lends you the money. And I say, Mother, how can Finca have such trust in a person that they don't even know? They don't know who I am and they don't know if I'm going to pay them. A village bank is not a bank as we know it, not a building. It's people, 10 to 30 neighbors who meet weekly, often in a member's home, often with children in tow. The bank officers are also members, and the bank bylaws, such as penalties for missing meetings or being late with payments, are decided by the group. These borrowers don't have the type of collateral a commercial bank would require. Often, all they have is their word. The members understand this and trust each other to make the system work for everybody. This neighbors helping neighbors philosophy has led to a unique combination of individual and communal responsibility and pride and has resulted in an impressive 97% repayment rate worldwide in the countries Finca serve. People ask me, what if you don't pay? I tell them that if you work really hard, you can pay. If someone does not have the money, we, the group, lend it to her, and she pays it back in a week, then we may be missing. 15, 20 pesos that week, because we have already lent it. But that's the way we help each other. Most of Finca's clients are women, because they are the least able to access credit. And of the 1.3 billion people living in poverty around the world, women account for a disproportionate 70%. Village banking has provided thousands of destitute mothers with means to improve their family's income, their own self-esteem, and their children's health, nutrition, and education. When I was little, I wanted to study. But my parents said, no, because I was a woman. Like many resourceful finger clients, this woman identified a need in the market. She noticed that corn husks were hard to find when corn was out of season. So with her Finca loans, she was able to build a warehouse in which to store and dry husks to sell year-round. At times, she has 12 to 14 men working for her, but her proudest accomplishment, she says, is sending her daughter to school. I always had a dream that my children could study, you know, that they could have a career. I have a daughter who is a school teacher. I work very hard for her so that she can have a career. I wanted to be independent, 
not to be dependent on anyone. That way the resources that we manage to gain or the goals that we might achieve um, shall be ours. I think it's better that way, be achieved, not upon. We've made an enormous change in the lives of some of these women who started really in very difficult circumstances. Maybe their husband was working in the U.S. because they had no income, they had no livelihood here in Mexico. Uh, and so on their own initiative, they started a business and they were able to get a loan from Finca, in some cases as little as $50 or $100. Then five, seven years later, they've been able to feed their families and educate their children. In one case we saw the husband was able even to come back from the United States and join his wife's business. And what they've created would really be the envy of any businessman or businesswoman anywhere in the world. I believe that there's a way to get ahead in our town. And the most important thing is to be together with your family because when the husband is present, this makes the children feel good. Otherwise, the children suffer because they don't have the love of both the father and the mother. Actually, she's the one that manages the business <laughs> and the loans. I'm only her assistant. My husband and his family didn't like uh, the idea of having a loan. But as I told him, if we don't buy some equipment, it's going to be difficult to get ahead, no? You always need a starting point. It's been five years since we've been with Finca. If we hadn't started with Finca, I don't think we would have our own business or anything. Generally, these clients are successful. Having started with resources of as little as $50, today they are demanding resources from us up to $800 or $1,000 because they have managed to develop their business in a very efficient manner. I used to work with two small machines and spend many long hours working at night. I deliver piece work, uniforms, clothing and garments for the townspeople. I spend many years doing that. Right now with my loans, what I'm planning in the coming months is that I want to install my own shop upstairs with windows so that my workers have plenty of light. All that is ours. All that until there, all that, all that is ours. We are very ambitious because we have things we want for children and our grandchildren. There were a number of women whose children were going to the university, something that wouldn't have been possible for them before they started working with Finca, but they're going to be trained as professionals, doctors, lawyers, and uh, to know that Finca's been a part of this and really made it possible by, you know, being the first organization uh, to take a chance on these people and give them their first loan. Now that, that really makes me feel good. It gives me a great feeling of satisfaction. Finca also supports these economies by hiring locals to work at all levels of the organization. These enthusiastic recruits some of whom began as village banking clients, often travel great distances to rural areas to educate the population about village banking and to be present at every village bank meeting. I was really impressed with uh, the entire organization and its ability to help people. When I began working with Finca, I was a promoter, that is, I formed groups and later I was promoted and I became a credit officer and now I'm a supervisor and uh, well, maybe someday I will have a management office. I have 4,246 clients and uh, 10 assistants. These stories are from Mexico, but similar success stories are echoed around the world. These small loans given at the local level to individuals are adding up to big changes globally for billions of people. Many believe the global micro-lending movement is the best opportunity we have to lift the last quarter of our worldwide population out of severe poverty. In addition, these village banks provide an ideal network for humanitarian partnerships that take advantage of the groundwork Finca has laid, connecting people in hard-to-reach areas. For example, 
Malawi is one of the poorest countries in Africa. More than 14% of the population is HIV positive. With generous funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Finca and Johns Hopkins University have integrated HIV AIDS prevention with village banking in Malawi, training 400 village bank members as peer educators. In this instance, the Neighbors Helping Neighbors concept could save lives. So what can you do? A donation of $5,000 can open a new village bank and empower an entire community. But as you've seen, even $50 can buy the one thing someone needs most, hope. And remember, as loans are repaid, the money you donate goes back into the system and gives hope over and over and over. Visit villagebanking.org today to learn how you can give a little and change a lot.